Hello Aries, I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 2nd, going to the 8th of October. So let's dive straight in. Uh, I've been saying to everyone, if my energy feels like, if I seem upset, I'm not. Like I just don't feel like being too like excessive with my energy. I'm trying to maintain it. <laughs> I don't want to burn myself out so just to let you guys know i know you guys worry about me sometimes like i'm not sad i'm completely fine i'm just a bit a bit mellow i just want to chill out take it easy you know anyway let's see what's going on for my aries please this week number four is standing out to me I really felt like it needed to be sad so that could be pertaining to a mother figure or a home all right something could be going on in a home um okay Let's see for Aries, please. Mm. Sorry, I felt like I had to take a breath there. I just threw that last one like it just <laughs> went exactly where I needed it to go though. All right, let's talk about it. We are going to clarify as we're going through my lovelies. Um, I do have a mixture of messages, but I'll do it in order. So ultimately, in terms of this week, you do have the wild card coming through, which is ending of old cycles, beginning of new ones, which is lovely uh, coming through for you. Some of you, you could feel called towards, you know, doing something a little bit more global. And for some reason with this card, I'm picking up something to do with like online, the web, you know, or maybe you're going to be doing some traveling. Like the world is very significant for some reason. Uh, specifically, the world is very significant. Maybe you guys are wanting to do a little bit more um, things for the world, whether it's like communities or whether it is to do with, I'm seeing like charities, I'm seeing recycling maybe you're changing your lifestyle to suit the certain global issues at the moment um i feel like you're, you're you're wanting to contribute some of you this could be even on a spiritual level maybe some of you want to kind of help people to ascend or whatever you know i guess or whatever it's a very big dream it's a very big uh, goal go for it all right um i do feel like and it's not just because it is here and I will show it to you, um, but everyone else is kind of getting this energy. So I feel called towards saying it for the collective because it's true. The, the Seven of Swords has been coming up for everybody practically, uh, pretty much almost everybody. Um, so it kind of does feel like we're in a time of where people's true intentions are coming through, our own, you know, um, truths are coming through as well. It doesn't mean that you've lied about anything, but what it does mean is that anything that's been working under the surface against you, people ourselves whatever it is coming to light which is good because this is going to help you to problem solve all right but um it could be quite hard at the at, at that time because we do have deceit on the bottom of the deck we have some deception here underneath that we have hostilities and anxieties so pay attention here to that i, I hope it comes up in general but let me see if i can channel anything from that oh all right, Aries, let's talk about it. For some of you, this this will resonate for somebody else um, around you. So take it how it is. I will speak about it as if it's you, just for the sake of the fact that that's what's coming up first. So make sure we're not doing anything deceptive because it will be seen within this, um, within this week. I feel Aries called towards telling you that if somebody is acting hostile towards you, I feel like their true intentions are going to be coming out here somebody who might be envious of you, somebody who might be anxious here, or someone's anxieties is also making them either self-sabotage or be deceitful, like you're not being honest about something here. So that can go in so many ways. That could be people-pleasing, that can be, you know, being fearful about how your truth is taken, fearful of confrontation or fearful of whatever. It might be building resentment though if you're not speaking your truth. I'm picking up on a lot, a lot of this. So ultimately what it feels like here, Aries, is that you are kind of stepping into a new energy where you're no longer kind of like 
appeasing other people and denying yourself your truth or denying speaking your truth others of you you are recognizing people's true intentions people who have deceived you you're recognizing it people who are hostile jealous of you you are perceiving it like you're understanding it and you're choosing happiness you're choosing your own personal happiness and that can be what this wild card is coming through as well you you kind of have this complete understanding and you're ready to to go into new cycles all right that's very important message coming through for you aries something about a chin here like my door is hurting all of a sudden but it's because i've been talking a lot okay so <laughs> that just might be me literally all right, now in your past energy, we have the Eight of Cups. This is walking away from things and options that just don't serve you, that don't align with you, things that are not really for your greatest good. You may have had to walk away from certain things, certain feelings um, in the past. Uh, and this is leading you towards better opportunities today. So that's good. Eight of Cups, please. Let's talk a bit more about this. Okay yeah maybe you've been feeling like you've not been given enough like given enough credit like i feel like this is kind of like ooh, aries i'm speaking to people who have kind of been feet like given breadcrumbs from people whether it, that is a form of money for example you kind of grabbed it you know like okay good because i feel like you're not used to being treated the way that you're supposed to be treated like this is going to be quite deep reading to be honest or again you're not like you felt quite stuck in something, but you kind of were holding on to what you could get in a situation. Um, and I kind of feel like this is why you walked away, Aries, is because it's just like, what on earth was I doing? Like maybe now that you've walked away from it, you are, or maybe as you keep going, this is might be might have not happened yet, but you are gonna really understand like that you're just not this person anymore. You're not gonna settle for breadcrumbs. This is like somebody who has a crown who's like, oh, I need all this and I need that and I need this. I'm going to hold on very tightly because I might not get it again. You know, it's a very lag mindset. This comes when we don't actually believe in our worth. So we're like, okay, like I need to hold on to this because it might leave me. Person, money, um, attention, energy, love, you know, it's almost like whatever it was, you didn't really believe that you deserved it maybe because of somebody else's conditioning like this could go deep this might not be that deep it depends on who you are who i'm speaking to aries but it's almost like you weren't really living true to yourself because of how someone was treating you in the past and now there's been this conditioning that you're breaking free from here because what's very beautiful now that you walked away from something you are going to really change that like you're no longer people pleasing you're no longer holding on to what you can get you are going to be opening your energy a lot more because the eight of cups is like none of these options are really giving me life it's not really serving me they're not very good for me or they don't just resonate with me these are kind of empty cups here as you walk forward as you take that big bold path here you will find a pit stop where you find exactly what you're looking for so some of you took a very big leap of faith is what it feels like to leave something that was breadcrumbing you or a person that was breadcrumbing you and you end up actually finding what it is that you look were looking for and it's divine. This was part of your purpose to find whatever this is. This feels like the angels are actually like giving this to you here. But you, you will find it. It's not a goal. This was not a goal. This is almost accidental. Because the um, temperance card is like a pit stop. As they're going across this journey, you come across this little lake. And as you go into the lake, which represents emotions and healings, you come across this angel here who is mixing up some things who's going to give this to you so some of you could come across a gift by surprise you could come across your wish fulfillment by surprise as you're walking towards something you know along your path so take your time be patient with that temperance okay if you've already walked away from something to find better and you've not found it yet don't worry because you will absolutely will in your present energy my lovely of the ace of pentacles so this is a new beginning this is a seed to plant this is an investment this is uh, an opportunity this is something um that you can that can cause you to be stable moving forward whether it's financial or career wise clarify the ace of pentacles please i told you this card's been coming up for everyone why is the seven of swords here please two of cups 
Why is the Ace of Pentacles in the present then? Well, we have Six of Cups here. So past energy. This could be a past friend. This could be a sibling. This could be a past relationship. This is someone who is classed as a soulmate, okay? King of Pentacles could be an F sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be, though. Ten of Wands. This might be a stubborn energy. Ten of Wands. Someone might be trying to hand something over to you. Um, because it kind of feels like this King of Pentacles is not like either not expecting something or is kind of giving up something that was been super challenging for them and is giving it to you. Can I clarify what this will lead to? Maybe this is something you've already felt like. Maybe there was a false promise here, or somebody was like, "Oh, like." Okay, I'm getting a lot of messages. I'm gonna give you some other examples that I'm seeing here. Is like somebody is giving you kind of like leftovers. Like, I can't, why do I keep feeling like breadcrumbs and leftovers? Like, oh, like oh, like maybe someone's treating you like a sloppy second, you know, Aries, or it's like, oh, well, I can't do it, so you do it. Or, well, I had this. Or maybe it didn't work out for them, so they're like, oh, here, have that. And I think you're kind of tired of that. Or someone can't handle something, so they're giving it to you, which is sneaky in a way because it feels like they, they don't think that you can handle it either. I don't know what it is. Like, is someone... Ace of Pentacles, Five of Cups, all right, disappointment, things not going our way. But we have the strength card here, so there is a lesson in that. If someone did that to you or has been doing that to you, put them in the wrong the wrong side. You are gonna be receiving a very strong truth about it, and it was is gonna cause you to walk away. Two of Cups, Seven of Swords. So again, like this feels kind of sneaky. This this new beginning doesn't seem very Like, it feels like somebody might be jealous of it if it's not something that they've given you. Someone could feel like they deserve it, so they might be trying to take it off of you, Aries. Trying to, like, convince you not to take something. Mm. Someone doesn't want you to do better than them. Someone's true intentions is coming out. Could be a, a relationship as well, okay. Clarify Seven of Swords, please. Yeah, it's to do with this Ace of Pentacles. It's to do with your journey. It's to do with your money. Well, someone could be trying to get in the way of your relationship with somebody. I, can, I think you're going to be moving forward. I think you are going to get wish fulfillment anyway. It feels like this person's intentions are going to be made very clear this week. The full... I think someone's going to stumble upon their own, like, mistakes here. All right, we have the tower. So somebody's going to stumble. Someone's going to slip is what it feels like. And this person's going to expose themselves. Like, someone's going to stumble on their words, you know, or on a lie or whatever. Or they're going to let it slip. Something's, something's going to be let, let slip. How someone feels about you. Take it as truth. They're being honest. That's what it feels like. Somebody might feel intimidated or just like they just don't want you to do better than them. Don't like that. <laughs> don't like that at all. In the near future, you do the three of wands. So this is manifesting in some degree. You're waiting for something in the near future. Ace of swords. Some sort of truth. Some sort of new beginning. Some sort of victory. This is going to happen in divine timing. And I think you trust that already. Um... This is going to be good, ultimately, whatever it is that you're waiting for. This says that you've put it out into the universe. You're just waiting to hear back from the universe, a sign, maybe even. Um, but this is a blessing coming away in the near future, okay? Because you're deserving it. Again, magician. This could be pertaining to some sort of travel or passion or pursuit is what I'm hearing. So it could be a journey. You have this energy, the Sagittarius energy here. It's, it's going to be some fun creativity coming up for you. That feels good. In terms of what you can't see right now, Aries is a five of pentacles. That wound. 
Um, it always represents a wound for me. Five of Pentacles, maybe there might be a little bit of material loss here. Again, some sort of disappointment that comes up for you, but it won't be permanent. Um, by the way, your blockage and ta challenge as well for you guys is a high priestess. Sometimes an, an act of self-love is actually by staying silent from people who are wishing bad on you or who want to engage in arguments with you. Some of you are pulling your energy back. Some of you guys are focusing on your own intuition and your own self. Some of you just aren't giving your love to some certain people because they don't deserve it. Don't be emotionally manipulated, okay? King of Cups, as again, your challenge. Could be Pisces energy, okay? Doesn't have to be. Your challenge could be someone confessing love to you. But this mostly feels like... um. This mostly feels like your energy of like staying on top of your emotions because the King of Cups is here. You are naturally sentimental, sweet, have a lot of love to give, but it's about like refraining that, giving that to people. And that again, that notification is a sign. <laughs> so High Priestess, she doesn't say anything, doesn't even give an expression because I think somebody wants that from you. Five of Pentacles, let's see what we can't see, please. Uh, Taurus energy, Hierophant. This feels like you're going to get some spiritual or like you're going to get some professional help, okay? So maybe that's something that you should actually go towards because the Hierophant is like the priest inside the church and the Five of Pentacles is people outside the church who need help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. You might need to. You will receive it. Something will really give you help and an opportunity. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. This is charity. Some of you might be giving to charity. Some of you, again, could be the ones giving people help here. Some of you I'm seeing like rescuing an animal or, or helping somebody here like maybe you're giving to charity or like you're helping homeless people here as you can see here you might be called towards doing some church service it's just coming up i'm just seeing it like you could be the one helping others or again you could be the one receiving the help um but the help is there so that's good news In terms of your, oh, <laughs> I'm doing that a lot recently. In terms of your relationships, I'm picking up an energy of old and new. I'm not gonna lie. So, page of swords. This does not just have to be to do with love. This is relationships. So, family, friends, love, or, or colleagues, whatever. We have page of swords. So this is that. This is this feels like someone that you know because page of swords is a triggered energy. I have to say, this is somebody who's not very happy. Page of Swords, somebody who wants to say something but might be holding back. This is someone who is watching, who is curious about you. We have Page of Wands as well. There could be some gossip going on around you. Make sure you're not engaging in this. If that's the case, you have a little bit of low vibrational people around you. Um, I do feel like there could be a potential love interest coming away. But it doesn't feel mature enough. Or, or again, it could be friendships. We have one person who's jealous who doesn't really have your consideration in mind. You might notice that this person doesn't actually pay attention to what you're saying. They just say whatever or talk about themselves. That's what it feels like. It feels like this person doesn't really want to look at you or give you attention, but you know their attention is there. That's what it feels like. Page of Wands. So again, I'm getting all the new energy. King of Pentacles coming through. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, you might have options here. You are focusing more on yourself than ever before, by the way. You're very self-made with that. Nine of Pentacles, you're focusing on your savings, focusing on what, you know, keeps you going. Which is a very big step from that Four of Pentacles, by the way. More stable than before. Could be dealing with, again, an Earth sign here. But you do have options with the Seven of Cups, but you just aren't very focused on that, is what it feels like player type energy or this could just be you trying just wanting to have fun and meet new people or have experiences and just live in your life conquer your goals and your dreams i don't think you're paying much attention to people around you to be fair one more yeah eight of pentacles you're just focusing on yourself your work your finances okay and building yourself up which is good keep doing that your advice is a six of cups it's nostalgia um this is about learning from the past okay having heart to heart conversations with people who actually care, okay? Like, not people who want to hear you struggling. You don't want to do that. Six of Cups. Could be children if you have any. You have a fire sign energy, okay? Advice. Again, some of you need to disconnect from the past. Learn from it. 
understand the lesson from it use it maybe as a form of creation <laughs> some of you don't know what you do um or whether this king of wands is again like kind of a fiery energy so things that fuel the fire are good in terms of putting it in a positive direction of course this is your energy as well but separate from that you know six of cups is about nostalgia but in this case it feels like don't go back to that your advice is to process that process your emotions see how you feel just don't go back to it okay somebody could be just playing a game or again just use it as inspiration <laughs> um your opportunity is the well so aries what you have here is you have unlimited possibilities moving forward so take a choice make a choice take, make your decision which is funny to a sword visualize it let go of the old and step into the new that's what that is talking about come out of your head when it comes down to it again do things that fuel your heart space okay do things that are unconditional to you there's a bit of freedom coming through here self-love you're on a journey of self-love and new love by the way too porcupine spirit says time for a beginner mind something to uh to think about here is to start fresh it's okay to start fresh protect yourself as the porcupine does porcupine you're starting fresh all right let's see for aries we have family sorrow right so again this could be family problems we have cracked cup dissatisfaction with life wedge someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want we already said that valley deep personal strength and peace that assures success so again all you need to focus on is yourself not what's trying to block you you have someone behaving stupidly and needle in a thread a sincere wish will be granted so there we go pretty much everything we spoke about so my lovely aries i hope you guys have an incredible week and i hope you guys um felt like this reading helped you in some way let me know but i will see you guys next time all right